economic climate for 2013 is just so uncertain, which leads us into smart money. It's time to check in with financial analyst Keith Springer. Keith, good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. Good morning, Eric. How are you doing? We're doing fantastic. Thank you. All right. So uh, big day for returns. Retail sales, how are they doing? Well, you know, retail sales were a little bit uh, disappointing, only up about 0.7. Uh, we, they had expected a 3 or 4% increase. Everybody thought this was going to be a great year for sales. People thought they were going to get out there, but the weather held people back. Superstorm uh, Sandy held people back. The fiscal cliff, uncertainty, but the economy just isn't growing. We still have unemployment a little bit higher than they want, or well, a lot higher than they want. So uh, this didn't come in quite near expectations. So uh, even bargains couldn't bring them in. So it was a little disappointing this year for a lot of retailers. Well, there's a lot of sales are hopefully going to be drawing people out to the stores in this final week of 2012. Uh, what's going on with the Gap this morning? Uh, Gap got a, a great award. They were uh, one of the companies of the year. They had a tough four or five years before this, but sales have been increasing. They've been redoing their stores for a much younger audience, really drawing people in, trying to create a, a new type of brand, and, and they've done it. It's worked, and uh, Gap stock has been doing really well, and they got rewarded for it and doing extremely well, even though a lot of other retailers and a lot of other companies aren't doing so well today in the market because of the fiscal cliff negotiations and everything else. And Keith, we were talking about the president heading back from Hawaii possibly early to deal with the uh, fiscal cliff or at least uh, trying to avoid it what's the latest on that front you know that it's still up in the air everyone's looking for something to grab hold of no one really understands uh, if they're even close they, you get both sides bickering back and forth the stock market and and all of us Americans are really held hostage to the negotiations if we fall over it I expect the stock market to obviously fall over with it if they come up with a with a deal stock market should really rally. So it's all hinging on can the lawmakers come together. I think the majority of people feel that they will come to a deal, but still we just haven't heard anything. So there's a lot of uncertainty out there right now, and that's what the market's going to trade on. Politicians bickering? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I call them bozos, but that, you who else? Fair enough. Thanks a lot, Keith. We appreciate it. If you have Thank a question you for Keith Springer, send it to money at fox40.com. You can also call him at 916-925-8900. Sheldon Orvis in the Atlantis Reno Traffic Center. Got a lot going on the roads this morning, Sheldon. Yes, yeah, several things going on, Eric, and we have an, an injury collision clearing in Ferris. I'll tell you about that one in a moment. But northbound Lurga Road at Doyle Ranch Drive. That's out in Roseview. A huge hazard there. Very large pothole, and in the pre-dawn darkness, it was really difficult for.